Hi. Uh, on the previous video, we have created two source text on our OBS. So we have three scenes. One scene is opening. The next one is screen testing. The last one is closing scene. In this series of OBS, we want to show how to make simple videos for, let's say, tutorial videos. So on the last videos, we have put one text, source text, as title in the opening scene, and thank you text in the closing scene. However, the problem is in the opening scene, we want to make the text to be big because it's the title of the video, as big as possible and as wide as possible proportionally, and we're going to put it on the center of the screen, both vertically and horizontally. And we're going to do the same thing for the text uh, thank you, which contain thank you for watching at the closing scene. Okay, we're going to start. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to start window. by uh, focusing, opening the OBS. OBS to eight point. Here I have my OBS. Now I'm going to fo focus on the scene dock by pressing I'm going to look for the scene dock first, press that. Sources window. List. Sources, that means we, we already passed the scene dock, press shift tab. Scenes window. List. Screencasting. Screencasting. Press up arrow to focus on the opening scene. Opening. Opening. Now press tab to focus to the source dock. Sources window. List. Text colon. Title. Text colon. Title. This text. Uh source from a file that we created on the last video now to make this text to be centered on screen all, all the command in this video we're gonna access from the transform in the context menu so first we focus on the source first like this one we already focus on the on the title text now press f and key and right control key to show the context menu after that no sound but the context menu already shown press down arrow obs 64 window add collapsed at sub menu press down arrow group selected items we need to press press down arrow until we find transform T R A N S F O R M transform. If it's silence, it actually there is sub I sub menu there. But I'm not sure why. Sometimes screen reader does not read um sub menu sub or menu item. So that's why I make these videos to bridge the gap between the OBS and the screen reader because there's some accessibility issue for the screen reader. I press down arrow. They are this text is not read to down arrow. No, not read. Down arrow. Down arrow. Set color collapsed. This is set color. So several items were were not read. We will not discuss about those items in this video. Down arrow. Rename. Rename. Down arrow. Remove. Remove. Down arrow. Down arrow. Resize output left paren. Source size right paren. Down arrow. Blending mode collapsed. Blending method collapsed. Down arrow. Show transition collapsed. High transition collapsed. Full screen projector left paren. Source right. Windowed projector left paren. Screenshot left paren. Filters. Add collapsed. Group selected items. Add. I think we've. We got back to the top item. That means the transform transform menu item is not red. 
sometimes most of the time most of the time it is read by screen reader but now we got an example where it is not read by screen reader to work around this press t as in transform as a shortcut it will show the sub menu remember the context menu is still shown right now now press t as in transform menu it showed the sub menu plus an arrow copy transform control plus shift plus c then arrow paste transform unavailable control plus shift plus v these are the sub menu for the transform reset transform control plus r this is reset transform this is a uh, to go when we lost our way in transforming the text down arrow rotate 90 degrees c double rotate 90 degrees c c double now we want to center the text the title text and we want to fit the title text to the screen press down arrow rotate 180 degrees down arrow. flip horizontal alt plus h down arrow. flip vertical alt plus v flip horizontal flip vertical i think those names already uh, self-explanatory down arrow fit to screen control plus f fit to screen we're gonna use this sub menu to fit the text to screen this sub menu is different than uh, the next menu press down arrow stretch to screen control plus s stretch to screen so stretch to screen will stretch the text to fit both vertically and horizontally will fit the text wide the width and the height of the text to match the screen so it will make the proportion of the text changes so this is not what we want now most of the time we want the proportion of the text still the same but it's gonna fit the screen so if the height already meet the height of the screen the width of the text will not grow anymore so we're gonna choose this one fit to screen control plus f fit to screen this will fit the text to screen obs 28.1.2 left paren 64 dash bit comma for those who still see can see the screen you have seen that the text is uh, grew in size if I have seen here in the text in the screen on the screen so for for you who cannot see the screen yeah I'm here just just to confirm that the text has grown to to fit the screen not stretch but fit now we want to make the text center the, the text visually the text already looks centered but we want to make sure to make it center by showing the context menu like we did earlier fn key plus right control key and then press down arrow OBS 60 group selected or items. pair type t as in transform menu sub menu now i'm going to look for the center on screen center to screen copy transform paste transform L, reset L, transform L. control rotate 90 rotate 90 rotate 100 flip horizontal flip vertical alt plus fit to screen stretch to screen center to screen control plus d center to screen this would this will center to screen by height and by width press enter obs 28.1.2 left paren now we already have a big title on our opening scene sometimes a uh, sighted user would like see some padding vertically what i mean is sometimes in my opinion we want to see some padding on top and at the bottom of the text it is okay to have the text very close to the right edge and to the left edge of the screen but some people prefer to have 
some gap on top and at the bottom so i usually do this for the title text uh because this text is based on a file desktop window i put OB. i put uh an empty line on top and on both in the file for instance let me open the file I've, i have already opened the source file in the notepad obs dash title dot text dash notepad text this is obs dash title dot txt i'm gonna press up arrow to go to the first line obs how to make how to make how to make this is the first line the second line obs tutorial obs tutorial this the third line videos videos this is the third line now i'm gonna go to the first line up arrow obs how to make how to make i press left arrow to reach the left most left character t space double h h now press enter so on the first line we're gonna have empty line blank blank second one how to make third obs tutorial fourth videos fifth videos we don't have fifth yet because um, we are we have not put blank line at the bottom we are at the fourth line now press right arrow to reach until reach the m blank 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 yeah now press enter this is the fifth line blank the fifth line videos videos now i'm gonna save this file Control s obs 28.1.2 left paren now 64 dash the site windows right paren can see dash profile colon that there is scenes gap colon, on tutorials top window sources of window, the title list. but there is no gap at the bottom maybe because there's no character in the last item on the last line now i'm going to go back to the source file again by pressing alt tab obs dash title dot i'm blank. gonna put a empty character or space on the fifth line underneath videos space space now press save back again obs to 8.1.2 now we can see there's a gap on top and at the bottom i personally suggest to put some space top and bottom if we want to make this um, this kind of text what i mean by this kind is title text is going to fit the screen but better to put some space on top and at the bottom it's my personal opinion all right we finished with the title text now go back to the scene sub doc sorry the scene doc pressing shift and tap scenes window list opening scenes window now press down arrow to go to the closing screen casting closing closing now press tap to move to the docs um sorry to the sources doc sources window list text colon thank you this is thank you notes the thank you text it contains thank you for watching that pretty long so visually this text or already passed the the screen the canvas so visually people can only read for thank you for w a t c and the text is cut visually but that's why it's important to use this feature to make to make the text fit with using this feature we don't have to visually verify is this if the text is fit or not Desktop because window. the obs, OBS. Or, already done it for us okay now our focus is on the source press um fn key and right control key to show the context menu press t to open sub menu for transform menu press down arrow until we find fit to screen copy track paste re rotate 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 flip flip vertical fit to screen control plus f fit to screen this will fit the text to screen 
since this text is already wide enough, this text will not grow, will not grow as big as the title because the, the width is pretty wide from compared to the title text. Now press enter. OBS two eight point one. Visually. I can verify that the text is uh, does not grow as big as the title. So this is what we want. Let's say, how about if we want to make some padding on the left and right? We can do that by uh, may input some space. So we go to the properties by pressing F and key and right control key. Press press right press up arrow to get the property menu item because it is at the bottom. OBS sixty four window properties. Property press enter. OBS two eight point one point two left. Now press sixty four dash bit comma. Now press tab until we find text box. Grouping select read from edit seven tab. Thank you for watching tab tab. This edit. Now go to the first line. Tab, tab. Um, seven tab selected. T seven e. tab unselected. Now press backspace. Tab, 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 tab. It's a seven tab. You just square up. Now I'm gonna press N. Tab. We're gonna clear the tab, tab first. Tab G. We already removed the G now. Type in G okay. G. Now press space bar maybe four times. G space space. Right. Now press home to go to the beginning. T. Press press space bar four times. Space 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 space. You can see that visually, uh, is already have some padding. Space, but on uh, the end, maybe there is there are no the spaces is not four. Let me count it again. Space one space two space three G. Only three. Space. I'm gonna add one more space. Space. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna press Escape, and the OBS will verify. Will confirm. Settings change dialog. There are unsaved changes. Dot. Do you want to keep them? Question. Save button. Enter. Save button. Enter. Save. Settings save change dialog. Button. There are unsaved. OBS two eight point one. So, visually, I can verify the thank you for watching. Now has some padding on the left and right, and this is what we want. Both text already centered and fit to screen so it is uh, quite pleasing for the sighted users i think that's enough for this video on the next video we're gonna do some text modification too for the for the beauty application maybe color changing or the the position or maybe we can include images on the next videos okay thank you for watching guys see you on the next video bye bye